Shut your ass down. Punk tit. Ugly ass tit fucker. And it's not the women type, it's the man type tit that you fuck. <laughs> you know? I've been betting on the fact that everybody thinks you have a big pecker because you say so, but coming to find out it's a tit tack dick and I bet I bet a hundred grand on that bitch and they bet against me so I won a lot of fucking money when they found out that your dick was tic tac. <laughs> And then that one bitch, he's like, oh, I like him enough to where I'll let him freshen my breath. And I'm like, what about you, Gary? And he says, I just want to fuck him. And I says, he let me fuck him. Because Waylon really like dick, because he got small dick, because he can't give dick, because it's so fucking small. Is it working? The broadcast. I don't put that on the bet on horses. Every once in a while, I'll change my outfit. You see the vehicle I'm driving right now? It's the new one. Not really that cool, but it's actually. What is it then? Bitch. What's the new vehicle? What's the new vehicle? Probably because you're watching my broadcast while your shit's downloading. I tried to tell you that the first time. I tried to tell you that's probably why your broad why the broadcast wasn't working. And you just sit there you just sit there and laugh like a dumbass. You shut your ass down, bitch. I'm just speaking the truth. Fucking skank. Fuck you, whore. No, nobody likes a back alley slut. Because you know they're always full of nuts. Because they never clean their self. <laughs> You're always full of nut. Because you never clean yourself. <laughs> And the funny part about that is all of that rhymed. This is a back alley slut that nobody wants because you're always full of nut because you never clean yourself. That's kind of nasty. You heard me, bitch. You're a back alley slut that's always full of nut because you never clean yourself. I know you heard me. I'm not repeating myself. The person who says what is actually full of nut. Ah, <laughs> uh, nope, you did. <laughs> that, that refers to whoever says it after me. So, yep, yep. And it's funny because after that, you just said, I just said. And then you said it, so what does that mean, Raylon? Yeah. Fucking dumbass. You're so fucking high that you fell into you fell into that joke. You tried to put me into that joke, but you fucking fell right into it. Yeah. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> You're so fucking dumb. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Exactly. There you go, you said it two more times. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. You just keep falling into it. You just, keep, you just keep falling into the nut. Exactly. Ho? Ho says what? Ho says when? Ho says huh? That's funny because that was the first one I said and you just said it, you fucking dumbass. You did it again. <laughs> uh, I told you man, you high, you slow as fuck.
A person who sucks dicks uh, speaks another word. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't go that long, man. Oh, I couldn't fucking do it. It got too quiet. It got too quiet. Nah, you suck dick. Nah. Nah, you want, you want me to suck dick. Cause you wanna watch it, cause you already suck dick. <clears throat> you know, it's funny because I never said the first person. I said person who talks. So you talk too. Dip shit. Said person talks, right? No, no, I didn't. I said the person who talks suck dick. No. Yes, I did, and you yeah. talk too. Ah, you suck dick. Yeah, <laughs> you so suck dick. <laughs> Try to change it up. No. Nah, -uh. nah. -uh. Hey, hey. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna, if I stop this broadcast, I can go back, and I will. I don't really want to right now, but I will. And I'll send it to you, yeah, too. Alright. You're not even watching my broadcast anyways. Fucking lesbian. Cause your internet, dipshit, you're downloading the update for Modern Warfare. How many times do I gotta tell you this? Fourth time. You're the update. Fuck you, skank. I'm gonna be smart with you because you're dumb as hell. The only way I can be smart with your ass for you to understand, you know, for example, I'll be like, Valon, who sucks dick? And you're gonna be like, uh, I do? And I'll be like, no, women suck dick, you fucking dumbass. Wait, wait. What do you mean you can't go? Lion, I'll just call. Fucking do it. I dare you to. I'll kill you before you even get a chance. I guarantee you you're gonna get in a plane and then you're just gonna go kaboom. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Plane, flying planes on Battlefield 5 helped you a lot in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> You got the most retarded ass laugh. It's like somebody sticking their dick in your butt and tickling your funny butt. You're, you're a funny butt. It's like they're just they're tickling your G spot. They're tickling your G spot in your butthole. That's like the sound you make when you laugh. Nah. You are. You're gay and perverted, dude. You're kind of coming off your high, I can tell. You don't sound as. Your words, you don't, your words don't sound as slurred. Yeah, you're coming off your high a little bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> slurred. Say like slurred. Fucking tired. Fucking tired. You're coming off your turd. Cause you came on it. Fucking nasty fuck. Tit fuck bitch. So you bitch ass down. <laughs> Come guzzling slut whore. Masturbation station, transportation, anal analyzation. <laughs> You're stupid. I'm gonna seagull your ass, bitch. This is why your boyfriend's fucking you and he's about to come. I'm gonna masturbate and come all over both of you before he gets off. That's what that's what seagulling is. Seagulling is when is when right before, like for example, you 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 know, 
your bet your your best friend's getting laid and he's about to fucking come or his girl's about to come you make sure right before they climax that you fucking come all over and give them blue balls because as soon as you come all over them dude they're gonna stop it's called it's called seagulling you never heard of it it's something people used to do and during parties and it was more of a thing at like fucking frat houses and shit not kind of high school like high school and college uh, I, I never tried it but somebody at my party was bringing it up and I said this is my buddy, buddy said he did that shit in college some dude was talking about doing it to uh this uh, one of our buddies, Luke, who the fucking is fat chick. Uh, everybody used to fuck around with him, and everybody like we were talking about four of us doing it, and I'm like, nah, man. I, I mean, that's kind of that's taking it too far. Four dudes masturbating and a fucking seagull on them. Like, nah, that's just too much. Fucking, that's kind of weird. Four dudes sitting, you know, you know. Sitting in a room or like sitting outside the room masturbating getting ready to come to come on them like that's just kind of weird So instead of doing that uh, uh, We we made a plan to uh, During sex after he made her come We came in there with a 12 pack of eggs already opened up and put in a bowl and we threw them on her like the yolk and everything. She was so fucking pissed. And the funny part is, is, uh, she didn't even get mad at Luke because he went along with it. She got mad at me because I lived, because it was at my house. The party was at my house. And I says, I said, I said, Luke, no offense, but I gotta say some words. I says, bitch, this is my place. You ain't gonna talk shit to me. This is my party. This is my place. If you wanna talk shit to me, get the fuck out. And the bitch just shut the fuck up, so. But yeah, shit was funny as hell. I'm like, that wasn't even my idea, the fucking eggs. Luke thought of that. The bitch took it out on me. I think it was because I was trying to get in her fucking pants. Just because there was a point in time to where every girl that had come to the, that came to the parties I had fucked besides her. And I was supposed to fuck you because I let Luke fuck one of the uh, one of my exes, and he says that I could fuck her. So, and it's just someone who was. Basically fucking that was it. But I didn't really care after that. I was like, no bitches are gonna talk to me like that. I says the only bitch that ever talked to me like that was Raylon and he got fucked. I fucked the shit out of that bitch. Mm -hmm. uh, never mind. Shut the fuck up, no. Nope. I can't even do that now. Now you're just, you're just, you're so high that you're truly in your gay moment. And yeah. Yeah, you're just truly gay now. You better not be sending me no perverted shit, dude. I know that's gotta be you. Because if that's, if that's, was that you that sent me something? Because if not, that's one of my ex-girlfriends messaging me because there's... Yeah, thank God that was you sending me something. Did I tell you about what happened the other day, dude? No. Dude, fuck that. Nah, I'm not looking... I'm not watching this shit. I know what the fuck that is. I guarantee you it's one of those... You start to watch the video and then seconds later, some dude with this fucking pecker and ball sack showing. It's fucking trick video. One time, one time it was a girl, my, my brother-in-law sent me one, and I fell for it. It was this chick, uh, fucking showing her titties, and then it looked like she was 
fucking finger in herself and it went down to her cooch. And as soon as the video went down to her cooch, she had a fucking penis. And I said, fuck you, man. I fell for that shit. And then one time it was somebody, somebody, uh, somebody was slapping like a, uh, I forget what it was. Uh, they were slapping like a metal pole or something. And then like two seconds later, it's the dude fucking slapping his, the pole, uh, they had a fucking pole wrapped around his dick and he was slapping whatever the, you know what I'm talking about? Fuck, yeah. Uh, and, then, and then there was another one. To where some dude was clapping his hands and then two seconds later his balls were like he's clapping his balls with his penis dangling. And I'm like, fuck, that's nasty. <laughs> and then there was one that was funny as hell. It, it, there was like, there's a movie, uh, there's a movie that everybody, like, I guarantee you watched it, but like, uh, what the fuck was it called? There's a, there's a famous American Pie or something to where. Uh, fucking Stifler opens the door or something, and then I think it's fucking or something. Somebody opens the door, and on the other side, the fucking naked chick waiting for him or whatever. And she's naked with her legs open or whatever. And it's it's that. And then as soon as he opens the door, it's some dude fucking naked masturbating. As I recall, fucking trick shit. And I, I I thought it was weird, man. No, I thought it was weird because my brother-in-law. He said if I wanted to the chick that he was with he said she liked she liked to be uh, She liked to have like sex with you know other women and other men like With him and he asked if I wanted to go to town on her both of us together and I'm like um, Maybe if you weren't my brother-in-law And then he sends me all these fucking videos and it kind of creeped me out I says, I'm like your brother, and you're sending me this shit. Plus, you said that I could fuck your girl with you. That's some weird ass shit. Funny, cause I ended up fucking her, and I even told Matt I told you about it before. I fucked her, but it was like after they broke up, and it was kind of like she thought it would get at him, but supposedly he didn't care. I was getting to know him. Looks like we need to find another lawyer. Clark, um, there's something I have to tell you. Just to let you know, you have a custody cluster. I don't know what I did yesterday to drop off the college quarter of the tax directory. Your dad was there. What was he doing? Yelling at Lionel Luther. No, no. I want you out of our lives once and for all. You're jumping to conclusions. Okay? It was simply a token of appreciation. Oh, I think it was quite a bit more than that, don't you? <laughs> it's all relative, isn't it? Uh, 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 we watch for me is equivalent to a Whitman sampler from you. You know, the worst thing that ever happened to my family was getting involved with yours. Oh, no, I seem to recall that the uh, benefits to our families were mutual. Boys, everything you touch. This town would be a whole lot better off if you weren't in it. You're as much to blame for that as I am. Aren't you? No. Martha was worried about that. She thought you wouldn't be uh, big enough to live in your own life. You stay away from Martha. Or I promise you, you will regret it. He threatened him, Clark. My dad told me he was running errands. Why would he lie to me? Look, the sheriff came by earlier. I told him what I just told you. I didn't want him, but I couldn't lie. It's okay. And you know my dad would never try to kill anybody. Right? He was angry, Clark. But I know him. There's no way. Search warrant. 
Mark, can I have a word with you? Yeah. Found this watch on your bedroom floor. Is it yours? It was a gift. Thank you. Lionel Luther. To Martha with deepest affection, L.L. I was going to give it back. You know you're a bitch, right? Oh, you watch my broadcast? I'm about to get on uh, Modern Warfare 2 because the uh, copying is done. show you something right on before I get off well, before I get on Modern Warfare okay it's gonna be cool as hell you'll see I gotta look up the YouTube video to where the locations are Shut up, bitch. Shut up, whore. Do you see that shit? Alright, remember how I told you about those plants? Uh -huh. That you can eat and they turn into animals? I'll show you one of them. Uh -huh. I haven't gone and found them all the locations yet, but... Oh, there's one on here that will turn you into Sasquatch. You couldn't become Sasquatch in this... You can run around and kill shit as long as you uh, don't die.
way I figure he was still a lot under the collar when he got to the wild coyote. The bartender told me he got pretty drunk. Hey, Mike. Give me a double shot of that tequila. said he only had one beer. Well, I administered his blood alcohol test in his whole son. He was a 2.0. That's quite a bit more than one day. From the sound of things, he was really spoiling for a fight. A lot of losers have lying, miserable son of a bitch. No good in the arguments here. Somewhere in the water. If we have an advantage, they don't. Around mm -hmm. here. You doing the eye thing? Yeah, I need to check my backyard sometime. I buried a job quarters when I was 10, never could find it. Got my dad's truck right about here. Wait for where he goes to on the video so I know where it's at. Did you find something? That's a bullet. We need to get the sheriff out here to dig it out. I don't mean to rain on your CSI parade, but the only thing that bullet proves is that somebody shot a shed. The sheriff said he found powder residue on my dad's hand. My dad said he'd never seen that gun before, much less fired it. So. What does that mean? It means that whoever shot Lionel probably drugged my dad and followed him until he pulled over. That bullet came from the same gun that shot Lionel. Maybe we can convince the police that my dad is being framed. Alright, it's here somewhere. You ready, Raylon? You watching? Raylon! Alright, you could have just said so. It's in a coma. What are his chances? His higher brain functions are shutting down. If he doesn't work in consciousness in the next 24 hours, he won't make it. I'm sorry. Sheriff Ethan, I talked to you for a minute? Excuse me, Sheriff. Look what I am. What is it, clerk? I found a bullet in a shack near where you arrested my father. My men went over that area.
<laughs> you see it? <laughs> I wonder how far out I can go. You want me to see how far out I can go? There's the rail on. I'm a hammerhead. I'm a hammerhead shark. Watch what happens if I come out of water, though. Let me go see if I can kill some people while the beach. You must have missed it. Someone put that gun in my dad's hand and fired it. That's why you found gunpowder on his skin. Or could be your dad squeezed off around while he was parked there drinking tequila, or it could be from a totally different weapon. Whoever's trying to set up my dad doesn't want you to find that bullet. I don't know what it'll prove, but I'll get out there and have a test. Sure. Thanks. I was wondering if we could talk. My name's Dominic Santori. I work for Lionel Lusa. Clark, would you excuse us? It's okay. You can stay. I don't think his father shot Mr. Luther. But I'm pretty sure I know who did. All right, Lex. What's so hurt that you insisted I fly in for a face-to-face? -face? I'm missing Domingo's level in. Well, consider this a curtain call on our own private opera, Dad. Would you ask your sin and I dog to wait outside? Anything you have to say, you can say in front of Dominic. A representative from an offshore shell company bears an uncanny <laughs> resemblance to Mr. Got tired, this woman. He's been quietly approaching the Lex Corp. I think you get like 12,000 experience when you die or something. I was under the impression they had no intention of selling. Yeah, I ranked up. I have no experience I got. Holy fuck, this is lag. Look at this shit. Damn, Grand Theft Auto. mutual goals. The only thing we share is a mutual enmity. This entire father-son reconciliation act was just a smokescreen to stab me in the back and buy out my company. If you were really ready to run LexCorp, there's no way I could have taken it from you. Look at this as an opportunity for us to work together again, father and son. When I broke away from you, I swore I'd never be under your thumb again. It's my hope that you'll stay and rise to the challenge. Here we go in a lab. Stronger than words to back up those threats, son. Because as of this moment, you are just another employee. All Lex had to do was wait until Lionel was alone. Didn't I make it clear? The conversation is over. After he shot him, Lex could have framed Mr. Kent. 
Then he drove his girlfriend to Metropolis, a convenient alibi. Thank you, Mr. Santori. I'll certainly look into that. <coughs> I know Lex and his dad have their problems, but it's hard to believe he'd do that. I said, Hawk, can you help? He's always known what Lex is careful about. Sometimes being an objective journalist really sucks. Can imagine. I still can't believe Henry didn't take Mr. Kent's case. Okay, usually when I do this, people seem to get really mad at me, but I found it really odd that your dad passed up an opportunity to take on a Luther, so I ran a search on his legal history. And since you don't seem to be freaking out, I guess I should continue. Bitch anal beach very long. If it helps explain why he won't defend Mr. Kent, then, then I want to know. Okay, it turns out that Mr. Small was a top white-collar criminal defense lawyer. He and his friend did a lot of business with, surprise, surprise, Luther Corp. Maybe he considered the Kent case a conflict of interest. At Times he's taken a line on his buddies. This is interesting, though. Luther Court files a complaint against Henry Small that got him fired from his firm. Okay. Wait, what? I'm a fish? <laughs> Ugly ass fish. Looks like Raylon. This fish looks like you, Raylon. Come above water. How the fuck? You see what I am, Raylon? A fucking stupid ass fish. Explains why you might hate the Luthers, but it doesn't explain why you won't take the case. 
In all that, my computer only spits out cold hard facts. If you want explanations, you're gonna have to go to the source. I understand. <coughs> Dominic told me you got in a fight with your father just before he got shot. Why didn't you tell the police? So now you're implying I pulled the trigger? It's not like I haven't seen you shoot someone before. Get out of here before you say something you really regret. I'm not going anywhere. Not until I get some answers. Are you trying to frame my dad? After all this time, I thought you knew me better than the average tabloid reader. If you don't start trusting me with the truth, what else am I supposed to think? Stay out of it, Clark. My dad's life is at stake here. So is my father's. Goodbye, Clark. Just want to die. No, it myself. I was jealous. I found that watch. It reminded me of all the things I couldn't give you. For the first time, it felt like I was losing you. Martha, I am so sorry. For what? Jonathan Kent feels about the Luthers. What's your could possibly believe me now? I love this place. All the brothers used to come here all the time in high school. Where it was, they never checked that these. How'd they keep it open? Good luck. Connections. Well, if someone did drug my dad, this would have been the only place to do it. Kent, Jonathan Kent's son. Jonathan. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm sorry about what happened. Did you remember if he was talking to anyone the other night? He was talking to everybody, blowing off steam. Sounded like he had a major run-in with Lionel Luther. The sheriff said he bought a bottle of tequila from you. Yeah, I wish I hadn't done it now. The cops want me to testify? Could lose my liquor license. I've never seen my dad drink more than one or two beers. Are you sure someone didn't put something in his drink? Nobody had to put anything in his drink. The way he was knocking him back. Listen, I know you don't want to hear this, but Jonathan said he was going to take care of Lionel once and for all. My dad would never say that. I've known Jonathan since high school. He's always had a temper. There's no doubt in my mind he did it. <laughs> You're just as bad as your old man! Clap, let him go, man. Clap, let him go, be cool. <coughs> guy's lying. He's involved. I think he's the one who spiked my dad's drink. Clap, look, I'm on your side. I'm the bartender to suspense like wasn't the most intelligent thing to do right now. I know. Sorry.
She wants to definitely take someone off. I'm not controlling anything. I don't know who to believe anymore. Hey there. Dominic must have made quite an impression. This isn't about Dominic. 